Look at this face. Look at this glorious face. This, this is the type of dog that I hope to see when we come into our Random Pets Laboratory, my friends, for our Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in Sims 4. And I can't believe that we finally have some dogs that look look like everything I'm sort of hoping for. Like they're they're sort of on little tiny pin feet and then you've got this gigantic head with this muzzle and these ears, just look at these ears. Those eyes, the twirly do tail. We even have some tiger stripes going down. Dino, you are truly a beautiful creature and you give me hope that we will eventually be able to break the curse of the black dogs in the last 30 dogs. We only have 30 dogs left before we finish off phase one of the challenge, you guys. I can't believe that, and I can't believe how many different canines we have come across, but what a day! What a day and what a dog, that's for sure. Uh, Arrow is currently our lead heir for our canine side of things, and then don't forget, Olivia, our three-tailed cat, is keeping things interesting over on the feline side of things. But welcome Welcome back everyone to our challenge where we just jump through with the random numbers 1 through 12 and re-randomize everything about the animals, including their names, which are often names that you guys pick or even named after you guys. Uh, and we also randomize everything about our wonderful laboratory assistants. In this case, we have Gamer Snorlax, who is now going to become a proper adult. There we go. So she has actually really brought us a lot of luck to our lab because look at these dogs. <laughs> Falling in space, I forgot you looked like that. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to look like today. But in order to make that happen, we need to clear out a little bit of room. So we're going to say goodbye to our lovely acorn, to Nova, the tap dancing tippy toed dog. We're going to say goodbye to Cody. I love that face. That's the kind of muzzle I have been hoping we could see on our dogs. Fallen in Space is also headed out, and Dino is headed out. They are all going to go play in the puppy play yard. But don't worry if you guys have fallen in love, and how could you not with a face like this, with any of the animals that you have seen in this round of our experiments, then you can always find them inside of dun 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 my library under blissy underscore leaves on origin. I let you guys know that all the time. Whoops, I forgot to share a few of these guys, but that's okay. I'll go back through, share a few of them. Why did I really fall in love with this one? Why, was it you, Cinder, or was it, oh my gosh, I forgot about our three-tailed blind cat with purple, or like with blue spots down her back. Jeez, we have been having a lot of luck with the animals lately. I really love it. All right, let's go ahead and clear all of those things out. And today we rolled having a large canine as one of the random creatures that we are going to be experimenting with. Now that Gamer Snorlax has become an adult, let's go ahead and get Arrow a mate and see if Arrow is going to be able to break the curse of the black dog. We have been stuck with so many, oh, and then the vampire music starts up in the background at the same time. That's hilarious. But we have been cursed several generations ago with all black coats and even red eyes on our dogs. And I really have to wonder where this challenge is going. It's taking kind of a very gothic turn. But we're going to see if we can bring back some neon coloring and some really hilarious muzzles with our newest addition to the canine family tree. So Arrow, sit tight. We're going to get you a mate. The mate actually needs to be a big dog. I rolled the generator this time. Uh, in order to see if we have a big dog or small dog and big dog one. There we go. All right, here we are. So we are going to have 10 mixed breed dogs to pick from. So I actually want to go ahead and name the dog first before we get started. And because this is a mixed breed, we'll count this as the first dog. This is a very beautiful dog. And we are going to name ex dog experiment 072 after Creamsicle. So Creamsicle is the name that Inkheart YouTube, Inkheart YT, uh, one of the amazing members of our community, asked us to use. And boy, does it ever fit for the very first, uh, the very first random roll of this dog. But let's go ahead and see what Creamsicle is going to look like. So we're gonna mix up these breeds. Two, three, four, five, six, Okay, a lot of red and uh, blind-eyed dogs, or like clear-eyed dogs. Seven, eight, nine, wow, and ten. 
<laughs> All right, so this is where we are starting with Creamsicle and we are going to change everything about this puppers uh, This is going to be a smart troublemaker. Who's a sleuth that sounds like a handful of a dog if you ask me So let's go over to body. We are going to randomize the body once done to dun. doesn't look like anything happened But that happens sometimes and then we are going to Not randomize the head shape So says the random dice that we listen to and we are going to randomize the ears once once more because it rolled the number one again. So Creamsicle, you have such cute little ears. Oh my gosh. We're gonna randomize the nose eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. So with this kind of fur type, it really has such an amazing nose. All right, so there's the nose. We're gonna randomize the eyes twice. One, two. Oh, beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. I wonder if that bodes well for the future of what this puppers is going to look like. And now we're going to play the tail game 12 times. And right now, Creamsicle actually randomized a cow tail. So I know it's hard to tell with, <laughs> hard to tell, oh dear, uh, with this type of fur, but this is actually the custom Hunkin cow tail from Caltron. Oh, that's a tongue twister, all right. And there's also the horse tail, which could be a possibility for a creamsicle to have. But we're going to randomize 12 times and see what kind of tail we end up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so normal long dog tail is our option. Oh, you look excited. I think Crimsicle was worried like that it was gonna have no tail. That's so cute. And we're gonna go ahead and go to coat pattern. And now here is where things are going to begin to get a little interesting. Creamsicle, you are like a beautiful blank canvas. You can bring forth so many opportunities for different genetics now. So 11 times we are going to randomize the coat pattern and then we're going to change all of the colors from there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're so cute! You're so cute, you're so cute as a little panda. Okay, I've got to save that really quickly. I've got to save that really quickly. Experiment 51.5. I have to, oh, just, I just really, really fast. Oh, Creamsicle, if you were a little panda, you'd just be the most adorable little panda. Uh, where was I? <clears throat> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh, panda again, please. Twelve. Oh, oh, cool. All right. So Creamsicle is going to still be a spotty dog. I feel like Creamsicle was already a spotty dog. So this is pretty hilarious. Really, really wants the spots. And now we are going to randomize the base coat color 11 times. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh! <gasps> I don't think I've had a yellow dog yet. Definitely not a dog like this. Oh, Creamsicle, you are really, really doing it. You're doing it, buddy. Hang in there. You might have some of the most unique genes yet. We might break the curse of the black dogs. Let's do this. So let's see. All right. Uh, we're going to do five times on the next color. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then twice on the next one. One, Two. I have no idea where that just made the dog purple somewhere, but it did. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four. Okay, like a banana. Honestly, this is a banana dog at this point. It is literally a banana dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this, this is too much fun. We really, truly, truly have a banana dog. This is awesome. Uh, all right, let's see. And then the last color, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I love this. I absolutely love that this is Creamsicle, the banana dog. You're so precious. You just, I feel like this would be one of the most sweet dogs we have ever had. All right, let's change the fur type. We're gonna be changing it three times. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Does this not look like the canine to win your heart over? Creamsicle, the banana dog, welcome to the family. And now we are going to see if some of our extremely exotic genes, everything from horns to beaks to hooves to unicorn horns to manes and so much more are going to get into Creamsicle's little DNA bunch. Uh, we're gonna randomize three times. One, two, three. 
All right, what do we have? Whiskers! All right, so we ended up with whiskers on Creamsicle. Uh, let me go ahead and remove any clothes items that snuck on. I think it's just the whiskers. And it is! All right, so Creamsicle, the whiskered banana dog, has come to join the family. And if you cannot break the curse of the black dog and the, the wonderful appearance of uh creamsicle if they what what are we even gonna get what do you even get when you randomize these two things together we're gonna have to find out all right so we are going to have 10 puppies to look through now 10 puppies oh and creamsicle you should have your zero let's see 072 there we go creamsicle dog 072 and arrow dog 071 shall now have puppies. They will have 10 puppies and we will get to pick the 10th puppy as the heir to our little family tree we've got going. Oh, so this would be like creamsicle and a random dog. I kind of want to look at a couple of these real quick. Random daughter. Hello, hello. Oh, look at you. Beautiful. So creamsicle is one of those like classic, oh my gosh, another banana dog. Creamsicle seems to be like one of those classic dogs who just has such an earnest face and will pass on a very honest looking hound. I think it's the muzzle especially. It reminds me a lot of like a Labrador and I grew up with labs and they're very good family dogs. So I think that's why I'm, I'm kind of attached to those. But let's bring Arrow over and begin for 10 puppies. Okay, actually, Weirdly enough, they have very beautiful children and this would be their first daughter. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna just accept their first daughter into our hearts and she is going to be named Mel uh, Melanie. Melanie right over there after a husky lover, Melanie, who left a really sweet comment in our last video. And I just, I think she's charming, isn't she? And I would not have expected that out of Arrow and uh, Creamsicle, but we're gonna go ahead. She's gonna be, let's make her a couch potato who is loyal and uh, maybe maybe a little bit hairy because she's got a little bit of fur that she needs to work with there. But that's really cute. So that was their first out of 10 children. All right, oh, Creamsicle, who is this pups? Beautiful banana dog. This is just the banana dog line. We have begun the banana dog line and I love it. I actually really hope that we have a banana dog inherit. So this is gonna be a little exciting. All right, so this would be child number two between Creamsicle and Arrow out of 10. Um, the DNA might have gone a little wonky there. Hmm, all right. Child number three, a banana dog. Four, another banana dog. Five, oh, the black dog, six. Seven black dogs again. Eight. Oh my gosh. Nine. Oh my gosh. Arrow. This is the moment of truth. Who will win? The banana dogs or the shadowed gothic dogs? We're going to find out what their 10th child, their son, is going to be. <laughs> Why? We even had a banana. We even had the banana dog and we don't even get to inherit Creamsicle's whiskers. I just rolled for it. Oh my. Well, it was exciting while the banana dog line lasted and hopefully it will return someday in the future. And I will admit these ears are something else. And we are going to have puppy paws named after Puppy Paws, who left such a sweet comment in our video. And this is going to be Dog073. We are carrying on with the canine family tree and we are carrying on with the curse that they apparently have. Ah, all right, Puppy Paws, what are your traits going to be? You are going to be a hunter who is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, an, an active hunter who is a glutton, huh? A vampire dog, basically. You're telling me I should just go ahead and come on down and I should just, where are the fangs? I should just stick the fangs on this canine. That's what I'm gonna do when we send Puppy Paws out. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna stick these fangs on Puppy Paws because I feel like, I mean, look, even the ears, they're literally like bat ears. We have a literal vampire dog. 
<laughs> Our DNA has been warped. We have adorable, adorable banana dogs that make me start thinking about having some sort of really cute little banana stand sim who who sells banana flavored ice cream. And and we can't think about that for very long because boom, Puppy Paws comes in with the vampire fangs, which are not actually supposed to stay. That's not in our DNA just yet. And and the big bat ears and the red eyes and I think I think maybe one of our past lab assistants must have left us with a curse on the laboratory. Hmm. Well, the curse continues, but it was fun to have banana dogs while it lasted. And I hope that Creamsicle will find a loving home inside of so many of your guys' hearts. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.